potentiometer built in light light up and you see the motor hello guys my name is Larry and welcome to our channel called the 956 studio or plain and simple 956 studio today we're going to be going over a motor speed switch controller a 10 volt 12 volt 24 volt control reversible PWM regulator now you'll have uh, this comes with a on and off switch and it has reverse and forward so you can reverse the motor or go forward one direction only uh, there's an option here it'll also have a potentiometer built into it with a little dial right here that you'll turn on you'll see the light let, uh, light up and that's giving power to it and once you turn the switch on then the motor is going to be energized turn it back counterclockwise light goes out the power shut off now we're also going to be using a battery today to supply the power to this thing let me get the, this thing set up for you so that you can see the battery it is a 12 volt battery ever start just like you see here in the label it's a 12 volt battery that's what we're going to be using to test and power up the motor today okay again DC motor speed switch controller 10 volt 12 volt 24 volt control reversible pulse width modulator regulator the specs on this motor are let me give them to you control the forward or reverse direction and the stop of DC motor by a switch the 1203 BB DC motor speed regulator controls the speed of the DC motor by adjusting pulse width modulator it provides a continuous current of 3 amps to your DC motor or other DC load potentiometer with switch function right here input power is DC 6 to 28 volts and of course the cable length is only about 15 centimeters connect re wires refer to the wiring diagram if you purchase one of these turn on the power and adjust the potentiometer the LED, the LED indicates the power up and the speed of the motor the input of the DC motor speed controller is direct current not directly connected to alternating current otherwise it will burn out so that's telling you straight up this is not an alternator alternating current item it is DC only positive and negative poles of DC power supply cannot be reversed otherwise the governor will be damaged or the controller or the unit itself will be damaged now to give you an idea how this thing works it's pretty neat and pretty and pretty nifty you're going to be hooking up the positive and the negative to the battery now we're going to be using the the yellow wire here since it's what I have as the the ground and the red red over here is going to be the power now the red's going down to right here and on the back of the unit you'll see power negative the second one is power positive and this next one down this red one here is motor positive and the next one down black wire is motor negative now this comes already pre-wired you will not have to wire this this is already built into the switch as you see it in the video and then of course we have a 12 volt DC motor here and we've got it wired up accordingly motor positive motor negative right here and right here these wires running right up to here now to show you how it functions the motor is going to jump around and we put a piece of tape on it so that you can see how it's turning and it, it's going to be a variable speed you'll be able to control the speed of the motor now we're going to put it on the first mark right there turn it on then we're going to crank the potentiometer on you see the light light up and you see the motor crank it up slowly gain speed we'll crank it up a little bit more a little bit more Sp spun spins spins pretty good knock that nut off there and then up a little bit more and continue till we get almost wide open now you do not want to change the direction of the motor while it is running so we're going to go right back here push the size says two all the way down now you're going to see the motor kick a different way and it's going to spin a different see it's spinning counterclockwise now we'll do the same thing we'll kick the speed up there not to hold the motor there you go you see how fast it's spinning slow it down if you don't want it to run so fast and you can get it down there very very slow now we're going to turn that off we're going to change the rotation again and you're going to see it's going to spin the opposite way just like when we started that's clockwise so if you have it on one one line going across if you're facing the front of the motor, it's going to be clockwise. And that thing has quite a bit of torque to it there, see it? I mean, I can make it jump pretty good. Well, guys, that's about it. This is a relative, relatively inexpensive piece. I think I paid something like, oh, $10 or $9 for two of these on uh, Amazon or eBay. And I'll put some links down in the description where you can find these at. And I'll also put some links down in the description where you can buy these motors at. Now, of course, the battery you can pick up yourself. Um, the range, like I told you, stated in the video a little bit earlier. Uh, it maxes out and it does have a minimum that you have to use and again you have to make sure that you're running DC motors this is not alternating current this is DC current direct current well guys I hope you gained a little bit of knowledge in this video I'm gonna hold the board up a little closer so you get a better view of it and the switch but again like I said I will post some links in the video where you can buy this uh, little gadget at the motor and 
the actual unit to power, you know, the power supply, the power supply controller. Many different applications. Thumbs up, like, subscribe. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.